Sup, sup, everyone, Wavy here. Today, good vision right here, but readers of the film Any Percent Speedrun, let's wreck to it. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Sup, this man. is a serious video, as I want to be taken seriously as a creator. Really? More than just a gamer, hard R. Bro, I'm waiting for Baldur's Gate 3 video so hard, man. I I'm hyped, Seth. But a speedrunner. You need to deliver, deliver on that one. This end, I'll be speedrunning Breeders of Nephilim. Because nobody has, because nobody cares. Which means this is my one and only shot at hitting a world record. This is an any percent speedrun, which I have defined as completing all the quests to obtain all the keystones to unlock all the cockblock gate. But what? No Once comments. I've done this, I consider the speedrun complete. Along the way, I'll explain the mechanics of this open-world insemination RPG and my methodology for speedrunning the game. I begin the run- You're not gonna get demonetized for this one. <laughs> Start a new game. I so, Naturally, I pick my breeder's gender, and I choose Futa. You might think this has something to do with the ability to get pregnant and make others pregnant, but no, it's actually because objectives are tied to gender, and I get the best options by being a woman that's packing extra heat. We ignore Feline and Fur, okay. very useless. You may notice that I'm jumping a lot, which is faster than shift sprint. At this competitive level, I can comfortably do a <laughs> mid-air 360 between each jump. Also, I'm going to have to censor every instance of nudity, which is going to be a lot. If it's too much, I'm going to start censoring with uh, Subway Surfers and Fortnite. This is all to prevent dopamine deprivation for my Zoomy audience. If your receptors <laughs> are not saturated by the end of this, I have failed as a content creator. But before we continue, ya boy gotta make his bag. Ad time. My nephew's birthday was last week. You know what his mother bought him? Battlefield. I made sure to personally remind her that an even better game exists for Warpath and Metal Slug Free Collaboration explodes the mission of battle Field. Warpath okay, is okay. a real-time strategy game with real maps, real weapons, and really action-packed gameplay. The and battle situation will change yeah. as your strategy changes, so you need to form your troops strategically and use your weapons to their advantage. Exciting news is that now we have Marco Rossi and Eri Kasamoto, Support two him. popular characters from Metal Slug Free, to join the battlefield. Eri Kasamoto could provide higher damage and defense values for the troops, but personally, I like Marco Rossi more. Just look at that charming smile, those hacking skills, and of course, his 18% damage boost. But the choice is yours. Join the in-game event to win these officers for free. Warpath also has a weapon system that contains all the well-known weapons, such as the Tiger Tanks and the Katyusha Artillery. And now, with a collaboration, you can even use a special unit skin. SV-001, the beloved Metal Slug Free Super Vehicle. We're on the Warpath, and you're coming along. Just follow my link, and together we shall reclaim the mandate of heaven. You can also click the event page link to participate in the special event. We Choose your vets. favorite character, join their camp, and win cash and sweet rewards. We run to town, carefully avoiding the fountain so we don't get surprised. Surprised what? is the synonym I'm using for assault of a graphic nature. <sighs> Immediately, we Fucking bang Cassie so she repairs a lever. We start with 1700 orgasium, enough money for the fox and house and the vulwar kennel, leaving us with nine. Amber May sells milk. Camilla sells semen. We buy the following quantities of milk and semen. 150 ml foxen and bovor milk. 110 ml titan and vulwark semen. In what retrospect, I fucked up my math and had too little wolf semen. A recurring problem in my life. But it worked out in the end. We go upstairs, pull the lever, and save reset. Saving and loading takes you back. It gets like weirder every single second, man. To the farm. Which is I, I don't know how long I can keep up with this. Quicker. We are, we are only three minutes in. Been walking. Now, most players will go to the sewers and meet the mega slime, copulate with her and take her keystone. However, this makes her cry and she'll never talk to you again, so I don't consider it a proper speed run. Instead, okay. we go to Cabell, the Feuda Centaur that's guarding the Virgin Breaks cockblock gate. We copulate, she gives us a quest. Quests are special breeding tasks composed of a gender, a trait, and a level requirement you need to satisfy to turn them in. Cabell needs a level 4 Volwark Feuda with a meaty trait, so we run to Lustwood to get our wolf. To consider this a proper speed run, surprise mechanics are turned on. This adds an element of skill and danger, as at any time, if I lose focus... Why does this forest look so well designed, man? For like even a split second, I will be copulated, it's and insane. I will get pregnant. Surprise mechanics work like this. If a Nephilim has locked onto your character, they're gonna surprise you. This is a particular problem because like over time... Like, for such a trash game, the effort put in that forest, like, just design-wise, is pretty remarkable, to be honest. Several I don't know if those are like some random assets I found, probably, but I don't think they did that shit by themselves.
Yeah. Are locked in and homing on your position. The only way to shake them off is by quickly hitting the interact key on a random target. The rest will stand idle, realize they have no target, and lock on to something else. The best metaphor I can give for this is uh, imagine a convention where the only attendants are YouTubers. You're surrounded by an ocean of penis waiting to pounce. To quote Flowey from Undertale, in this world, it's groomer be groomed. There's two methods of capturing Nephilim. One, you have a surprise encounter and compare stats to the Nephilim. If you win three out of five categories, you can capture them. However, this is incredibly slow. Two, you give them fluids. This requires you to memorize the exact fluid preference for each gender of each racial subtype. Luckily, I have it printed out. If I get dementia, I may forget my own name, but rest Damn. assured, I will never forget these fluid dynamics. Five ml semen or 15 ml milk gives us an this instant is barnet. Insanity. This Rough. Like, I've watched a lot of Seth content, and I swore that I'm gonna watch every single one of his videos. And one of them was called Evangelical or something. That horrendous game. And this might get near it. Like, it's insane. Animal. Males take milk, females and fewness. Like it's, it's a challenge to watch this video, man. Take semen. However, there's nothing stopping you from giving the wrong fluid, which uh, I find really amusing. Yo, homie, uh -huh. uh, try this. What is it? Come. I get to Lustwood, the Vulwarg and Foxen start spawning. I'm so high on the spectrum. I can even spot the right variant I need from a distance because it has a muscular phenotype. But if it doesn't spawn, I have to make it. The only way to do that is by capturing more of them, which causes more to spawn. But I have to be fast because everyone on the map starts copulating. This slows me down because I can't interact with them until they're done. Also, the characters start moaning, oh. which means the only way to avoid okay. age restricting this video is to scream over them. Shut the fuck up! Bro, Should bro, I get skip, a swift skip, futa? Don't. My fluid purchases were non-random. Males make one third of all spawns. Channel. The rest are futa and females. From that distribution, I split my funds to maximize my chance of landing the correct variant. Also, we can't do commercial breeding until we learn Doggy from Paws Maddie, as this game assumes the player to be a self-insert. That is to say, a drooling retard. Save <laughs> reset, we got Jeez. a wolf that needs leveling. Leveling is done by raw dogging until we get enough experience. How much we can raw dog is determined by lust, which drains with use, increases with level, and resets each time we sleep. Much like fight or flight, this game is a cycle between raw dog and rest, which is what we're going to be doing most of the time. Along the way, I make use of my cattle, milking and draining them all until I hit my fluid maximum. This is how we earn money in this game. This is what bankers call liquidity. I turn in the quest, grab my keystone, Jesus. head back to town, and start selling my fluids. Man, I must be on estrogen, because my racks keep growing. I now have enough money to buy a Bovor shit and a free A hive. However, I fucked up. I cycled too many days without keeping track. And unfortunately, Cassie was today's daily toy, which means I can't trade with her. I've lost precious time because now I have to save reset and pass a day, and my chances of hitting so world first this are so slipping through my hands. Panicking, I took my Dragon Ball Z Dende perk and felt immediate relief. On the plus side, I got a fresh harvest. The ML okay. Titan Milk, 100 ml Harpy Semen, and 200 ml Demon Semen. I use my Keystone to open pleasure pastures and bang Monarch, who asks for a Swift Foxen. In the same area, I bang Autumn and get a request for a Hornball Free A. Before leaving, I capture a bunch of Bovors for their milk. Also, I got ambushed by Tentacles because I was already mid jump and fell right into it. Save reset, I already had the Foxen she wants, so I turn in Monarch's request. Or so I thought. Turns out she wanted a Swift Male, which I don't have because I didn't plan for this, because it was meant to be a futa, because it's always been a futa, but the one time it matters, she changes her mind. So back to Lustwood I go. I use her keystone to open the Hivelands, suck on the queen bee's titties, get a quest to restore the Hivelands, and start catching a bunch of bees. Uh, uh, <clears throat> small problem. Hornball has a very low chance of appearing in bees. We could crossbreed them with the other furries, but that's gonna take a lot of time. There's no guarantee the offspring will be a bee, or that a single trait donor will pass for genetics. As stupid as it sounds, it's quicker to dice roll. I actually don't even- This is like literally a cross between some weird as a perverted age game like Evangelical or something like that. And that one alchemy game, the Chinese one. It's one to one, the mixture of the love child of that. This, this is that thing. The result and I check guess. which traits they have. If I don't get a single hornball across 60 attempts, 
I'm just gonna kill myself. Also, I was clicking so fast, I messed up and accidentally copulated three times in a row. Bro. Not only unskippable, but only one possibility, but No! They lock up the whole game. What the I not a single hornball in sight. My wrists, I am slitting. All right, um, time for plan B. Ignore everything I said. We're gonna crossbreed at the risk of making this a- What? Do that. I'm glad you asked. With one liter of dragon semen, I take the keystone and open up virgin breaks. Okay. Capture some dragons and talk like to the dragon the matriarch. Over over she again. wants- Let's get free of- so, Let's We get need a thousand XP to hit world level two. The amount of XP we get from releasing wild furries is- Insanely low. It'll Just take us anywhere from 60 to 100 releases. Dragons in I want to see slip up for a second and get surprised. God, no! It takes a little bit, but I get my dragon and another keystone. Below Pleasure Pastures, I unlock the Cove of Rapture and bang okay. Miru the Kraken, which opens a clam in the middle of the ocean oh, that drops a giant pearl, which I take. I'm pretty sure navigating back to shore is impossible, and I'm scared of water. So I reset. We trade the pearl with a mega audience. Okay. The juicy trait. Anyway. Eric Glade. While hunting for my nymph for some elf, Pete with me because I was dressing. It's the same thing. It's a good genetic simulation. Profile having over a hundred hours playtime on this game. A hundred and six hours. This, this video is no joke. He put in the effort. I wouldn't expect. This. Oh wait, he's a Dota 2 player, so yeah. Not surprising at all. <laughs> but yeah, man. Is definitely photoshopped. If you're interested, it is free to play. Breeders of Nephilim is your quintessential pay monthly Patreon funded era. One friend wants this game and has even play it. A game that will stay Very in positive. perpetual early access. But hey, mm -hmm. uh, there's worse things you can spend your money on. As always, more content to come, Oomphies, so stay tuned. Please, I want to see more. Yeah, like we watch the stuff it want. And I hope we will be able to escape free one. But this. This was a hard time for me. Like, this is. This was insane, man. It becomes more impressive every time how Seth is able to get sponsors to agree to be in his videos, yeah. Like, it was quite successful, I must say, but not for me because both segments, like with leveling and uh, getting a higher world level, is like literally the same thing all over again. We got to see one new area or two, but yeah, it's not, it, it wasn't that entertaining like the other Seth's in touch videos were much much better and i think he can improve upon that like the editing i was good decent yeah and yeah i shouldn't be one talking because i'm just reacting to it but this dude is like high quality original content creator and i still want to support his content but this one right here is um not of his best ones, let's say that. It's it's not very good, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, wanna hear what you think of it? I guess that's it. If you wanna support me, go subscribe to my channel. And to him as well, he made the content, I just reacted to it. And yeah, I guess that's it. I guess see you next time. Wafer. Out.